is Cindy from the Crown Point Community Library, and I'm here today to bring the library into your house with uh, some middle grade book bites. And middle grade book bites are designed to give you a taste of books that would be found in our juvenile fiction section. All of the books that are spotlighted as middle grade book bites can be downloaded from our website and you can read them at home. So today I would like to introduce you to a book called Pay Attention Carter Jones by Gary D. Schmidt. This book, if you need to, is, is an AR book. It is five point, it is a 5.3 book level and it is worth seven points. So pay attention, Carter Jones. This is just a really fun book um, about a kid who's, whose life is just mixed up and crazy and wakes up one morning to find out that maybe it's going to be getting a little bit crazier. So uh, it is a funny story. He has a good sense of humor. And I'm going to just start off by reading you a little bit of the first chapter so you can get a feel for what the book is like. If it hadn't been the first day of school, and if my mother hadn't been crying her eyes out the night before, and if the fuel pump on the Jeep had been doing what a fuel pump on a Jeep is supposed to be doing, and if it hadn't been raining like an Australian tropical thunderstorm, and I've been in one, so I know what it's like, and if the very last quart of 1% milk hadn't gone sour and clumped up, then probably my mother would have never let the butler into our house. But that's what the day had been like so far, and it was only 7.15 in the morning. 7.15 in the morning of the first day of school when the butler rang our doorbell. I answered it. I looked at the guy standing on our front stoop. Are you kidding me? I said. Well, that's what you would have said too. He was tall and big around the belly, and he was wearing the kind of suit that you would wear to a funeral. I've been to one of those too, so I know what funeral suits look like. And he had a bowler on his head, a bowler, which nobody has worn since like horses and carriages went out of business. And everything, the big belly, the funeral suit, the bowler, everything was completely dry, even though it was an Australian tropical thunderstorm outside because he stood underneath an umbrella as big as a satellite dish. I closed the door. I went to the kitchen. Mom was tying back Emily's hair, which explains why the dry Ace Robotroid's sugar stars Emily was eating were dribbling out both sides of her mouth. Charlie was looking for her other yellow sock because she couldn't start fourth grade without it. And she couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't. And Annie was telling her what a baby she was. And Charlie was saying that she was not, she was not, she was not. And just because Annie was going into fifth grade, that didn't make Annie the boss of her. And then Charlie looked up at me and said, does it? And I said, you think I care? Carter, my mom said, your oatmeal was on the stove and you'll have to mix it in your, in your own raisins. There's some walnuts too, but no more brown sugar. And Carter, before you do that, I need you to run down to the deli and there's a guy on our front stoop, I said. What? There's a guy on our front stoop. My mother stopped tying back Emily's hair. Is he from the army? She said. I shrugged. Well, is he or isn't he? He's not wearing a uniform. Are you sure? Pretty sure. My mother started tying back Emily's hair again. Well, tell him it's the first day of school and that he should go find someone else to buy whatever it is he's selling at five at 7.15 in the morning. Annie can do it. My mother gave me a look. You know, that look. So I went back to the front door and I opened it. My mom says it's the first day of school and you should go find someone else to buy whatever it is you're selling at, at 7.15 in the morning. He shook his umbrella. Young Master Jones, he said, please inform your mother that I would very much like to speak with her. I closed the door. I went back to the kitchen. Well, did you tell him to go away, said my mother. I think that's what she said. She had a bunch of bobby pins in her mouth and she was sticking them around Emily's head. And Emily was hollering and spitting out Ace Robotroid sugar stars at every poke. So it was hard to understand what my mother was saying. He wants to talk to you, I said. He's not going to. A sudden wail from Charlie, who held up her other yellow sock, which Ned had thrown up on. Ned is our dachshund, and dachshunds throw up a lot. Carter, go get some milk, said my mother. Charlie, stop crying. Annie, it doesn't help to make faces at Charlie. Emily, if you move your head again, I'm going to bobby pin your bangs to your eyebrows. I went back to the front door, front, and opened the door. The guy was still standing on the stoop, but the Australian tropical thunderstorm was starting to get in under the umbrella. Listen, I said, 
My mom's going crazy in, in there. I have to go to the deli and get milk so we can eat breakfast. And Charlie's crying because Ned threw up on her other yellow sock. And Annie's being a pain. And Emily's bangs are about to get pinned to her eyebrows. And I haven't even packed my backpack yet. And that takes a while, you know. And we have to leave soon. And we have to walk to school because the fuel pump on the Jeep isn't working. And we only have one um umbrella. So just go away. So this is how the book starts. So poor Carter starts his dits the beginning, the first day of school, and his life is just a mess. His, obviously things in his house are just very crazy between his, his siblings and his mom is frazzled. His father is is in the military and he is uh, serving at a dip, at a, in another country. So he is not at home right now. He has been deployed. Um, the, the butler who shows up at the porch is actually was his grandfather's butler in England and, he, and his grandfather has just recently passed away and in his will he has left the butler to, to the, their family, to Carter Jones's family to come and help them out for a while. Well, Carter Jones doesn't really think the idea of a butler is the best um, and it's not going to really do much for his reputation at school. So he's not really sure what he thinks about it. But his mom needs the help and um, and his life is pretty crazy. So the story is just, it's a really cute story. It's a really fun story. Um, there's a lot of sense of humor. Uh, the butler who ends up uh, helping teach Carter lessons um, by using different references from the game of cricket, uh, which is interesting. So it's a neat thing to learn about also. But the butler comes in, he takes charge, and he helps to, to make everything work in, within the household. So again, this book is available to download from our website. You can find it there. It is an AR book, and it is it's a 5.3 level, and, and it is a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. Take care, and have a great day.